Hi, Todd Bourne here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather here for the next 10 days and a nice Tuesday underway here as you can see a few high clouds mixing in with the sunshine as temperatures across the Oracle text for the most part in the uh, mid to upper 70s. This will be pretty close to records before it's all said and done. Moving forward, we'll be watching a cold front, which by uh, this evening will be uh, to our northwest in the northwestern sections of Texas. This front will enter the western sections of the area tomorrow morning and should exit the eastern sections of the area tomorrow afternoon. And as it moves through, it will bring the possibility for some strong to severe thunderstorms. The Storm Prediction Center does indicate a marginal severe weather risk that's one on that one to five scale over the northwestern half of the area. A little bit better chance for the strong to severe thunderstorm further to the south and east where the storms arrive later in the day. So let's give you a look at Robin Story to Futurecast here, taking you through the next few days. And you can see tonight we will see an increase in the clouds across the area. A few scattered showers will begin to develop late tonight. Uh, a few scattered thunderstorms will begin to intensify late tomorrow morning, and especially during the first half of the afternoon. By by the time we get to 3 o'clock, most of the stronger storms will already be out of our area. We'll be left with a little bit of uh, stronger activity over the southeastern sections of the Oracle Tex, and we should be done area-wide by 5 p.m. Uh, tomorrow. In fact, the clouds beginning to increase late tomorrow. We'll see a partly cloudy sky tomorrow night and lots of sunshine here for Thursday. Now, with that severe weather risk, it does look like wind is going to be our biggest concern. Quick look at the rotation outlook, or at least potential from Futurecast, not really showing any of those swaths that we typically see uh, in the forecast where we have that potential of seeing some tornadoes. And even the hail risk is looking relatively low at this point with perhaps the best chance of maybe seeing some small hail or to areas over to the east of the Oracle Tex, as you can see here. And even the rainfall is looking somewhat limited, as uh, most of the Oracle Tex will see less than a half an inch. We could see a few swaths of a half an inch to an inch, mainly over the southeastern half of the area. Now, longer range, what's going to be happening is that we will see this disturbance push on through, and then we'll kind of settle into cool here, as we'll see a series of disturbances kind of reinforce the more seasonable air here. This first disturbance will arrive Saturday. It'll push on through. A second disturbance will arrive by the middle part of next week, Tuesday. That'll push on, on through, and then we'll be relatively quiet for the rest of the 10 day period. And by the way, with both of those disturbances, rainfall is looking somewhat limited and the severe weather risk not really too much of a concern at this point. So your forecast for tonight is looking increasingly cloudy. Late tonight, we'll see a few scattered showers begin to develop across the area. Expect lows to mainly be in the 50s and low to middle 60s. 58 in Hope, 60 in Texarkana, 63 degrees for the low temperature tonight in Shreveport. Tomorrow, expect to see thunderstorms to become light Likely they will be strongest over the eastern half of the area, especially southeastern sections of the Oracle Tex where they arrive later. One or two could become severe, as we'll see wind is our biggest concern. Temperatures tomorrow will range from the upper 60s north to the low to middle 70s across the southern half of the area. 76 tomorrow in Natchitoches, 72 in Shreveport, and 69 for the daytime high tomorrow in Texarkana. As I mentioned, once we get past tomorrow, that's it for the well above normal temperatures for the foreseeable future, as pretty much the rest of January is looking rather cool, as we'll see highs mainly in the 50s and low 60s through all of next week. Overnight lows will mainly be in the 30s and 40s, as we will see that chance of rain Saturday, and again, another chance for some rain next Tuesday and Tuesday night. So all in all, it does look like we will see a pretty good round of thunderstorms across the area tomorrow. The biggest concern will be damaging wind. Can't totally rule out an isolated tornado, but that risk is looking somewhat limited, and then we'll cool off for the rest of the 10-day period.